first one was a simple sub program. It was a 4x4 four four block with a half inch thick. And what we did, let me zoom in a little tighter on this right here. Click it right there. Started off with the absolute programming and inch programming. Also, uh, here's our RPMs. We offset our tool to the left of the programmed path. We picked tool number six, which happens to be a half inch cutter. Uh, once we position ourselves one inch in the X, one inch in the Y, and Z within a hundred thousandths, we took it to the surface of zero, and we called up our sub program. Here's our sub program right here with a M98 P100 L11. What that means is it's going to M98 is our sub program. P for program, program number 100. L is 11 times. Further down here, you can see where we went to a depth of 50 thousandths per cut times 11 cuts. Um, actually, is, we just wanted to go through it all the way through a half inch plate. So that would be 50 thousandths a cut through uh, for a half inch would be 10 passes, but we took one extra pass to make sure it cleared up. Whenever we get through with this, when we get to this point right here where it's reached the M98 P100, it's going to search for program 100. Here's where it starts at right here. So it's going to skip this little area right here and go straight to here. It's going to then go with the incremental mode, point to point. We go down 50 thousandths in our Z axis. We go up two inches in our Y over two inches on our X, down negative in our Y, two inches, and then back negative two inches in the X axis. Then once it reaches this G90 M99, it comes right back up here where we came in at, and it picks my tool up uh, to the surface of zero, goes up three inches. We cancel our offset right here. X goes home, Y goes home, and it ends the program. And Here's our verification. Click that. Verify our program. And normal program stop. That's that one. If we go to our next one, the next one was the circle. And we'll do a verification on that to see what it looks like. Let's we'll speed it up a little bit. This is a two inch diameter circle inside of a four, inch, four by four inch block. And it just broke through. All right, now here's the code for that. Notice on this one, here's, we only made one pass. It's a GO2 X0, Y0, I1, J0. Remember we're doing incremental programming right here with a G91. So if we make a complete circle, let me back out just a little bit, right over here, it's where I started at our 9 o'clock position. And if I make one pass all the way around, I'm winding up at the same place. So it is, it's just like it never did move. Uh, it stays in the same in the X, it stays the same in the Y. However, the center of the axis is uh, one inch, so it moved in the X axis for the I and J stayed the same. go to our third one, which was a radius, verify screen. This one is a two by two inside of a four by four square, but with radius corners. And um, same thing is applied as in the previous two. Let's zoom in just a little bit. You can see what the code looks like for that. Um, basically the same except we have a straight line and an arc, straight line and a radius, straight line and radius, 